Well, good afternoon, everyone. What an honor it is to be here and to be performing at this wonderful Heartland Connections concert series. Play it forward for the artists and that have been affected by what's going on right now. It is uh, such a tremendous privilege to be here and to be performing a concert. And it is a very unique time for all of us. One of the things that I like to do during one of my regular live audience concerts is sometime during the performance, I always like to ask the lighting director to just raise the lights in the house for a moment. And that way, I can see my audience. And when I can see my audience, even when the lights go down again, it gives me a thought and a visual in my head about who's there. And it helps to make a more personal connection with you. And so in my mind's eye, that is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to ask the lighting director to turn up the lights. And there you all are. And it's such a pleasure to see you. So when I say that it is great to see you, I mean it. I see you here because I can feel you here. This is going to be a very special time for us this afternoon. And it is going to go quickly. This is a time for us to all try to be that ray of light for each other. This piece is called Imagine That You Are Light.
Well, thank you so very much. I'm going to grab a different drum here. This over here is called a doomback drum. One of the unique things about my work is that I'm taking instruments from all over the world and I'm blending them together. This is a Middle Eastern drum and I'm blending that with a djembe, which is an African drum. The bells on my legs are called gungrus. They are from India. And my handmade Sabian symbols that were made especially for me are Chinese symbols with the edges turned up. I take all of these different instruments and I blend them with ethnic and westernized orchestral sounds on the keyboard and I create something that I feel is very unique to me. So sometimes when people ask me to describe my music, it's a little bit difficult, which is another reason that I am so grateful that you are here today. This piece is called Transformation.
thank you all to the cr the, uh, the small crew that is here with me and to all of you out there watching. I greatly appreciate it. is a very special piece to me and because it is I always dedicate this piece to my daughter to all of you that have young children I have to say what a remarkable time this is to have young children at home with you. They are not just looking to you right now for basic needs. They are not just looking to you to keep them occupied. They are looking to you for your unwavering love, safety, security, your reassurance that everything is going to be okay. That doesn't mean that every day is going to be perfect, but try to embrace this unique time as a special time with your children, because when they get older, they will look back on this time and remember how you were now. This piece is called Now is the Time.
thank you all so very much. And as I mentioned earlier, our time together is very brief today. I would like to play you two more pieces. One of them is very short, and it will actually go right into the last piece. So these will be my last two pieces that I play without a break. And the last piece that I'm going to play for you is the title track to one of my albums. It's called Like Setting Myself on Fire. And actually won some international awards. I'm very proud of that album and that work in particular. And so that is how I will close our time together today. I would like to say some very, very big thank yous to John and Tom and Jason and Carlin and everyone that put this concert series together. It's such an honor for me to kick this off. Remember that I'm the first artist of a long list of artists, amazing artists, today, tomorrow, and next weekend as well. So please continue to tune in all evening and all weekend long. I would like to say just a few things about this time that we are in right now, and then I will play you two pieces back to back. First of all, I would like to say that if you are at home and you know of people that are quarantined alone, please make sure to check in on them. Make sure that they are doing okay. A phone call or Facebook, FaceTime, any ways that you can keep connected with people that are alone. I can imagine that this is a very lonely time for some people and it is very important for us to stay connected. Secondly, if you are quarantined at home with your family, this is a very, very good time to remind yourselves to be extra considerate and extra compassionate to each other. This is a time where emotions can ride high and when things get tense, be the first one to offer grace. This first piece I would like to play for you, I would like to play as an offering to you for your emotional, physical, and spiritual well-being. And after this piece, I'm going to take a moment before I play the last one. And we will just have this moment together. Wherever we are in the country, we will have this moment together. And this is a moment for you to take whatever you need. And then I will play the last piece, like setting myself on fire. And this piece is a reminder that your best days are ahead. And this piece is called From This Dream Forward. Thank you all so much for having me today. I really, really appreciate it.